G'day and welcome back to the channel, Ginger Ninjas Movie Reviews, coming at you with a very special, spoiler-free movie review. Um, last night, as you can tell by the background, I did go and see Deadpool and Wolverine, and this is one that I had been looking forward to for a very long time. I was a huge fan of the X-Men movies, for the most part. There are a few hits and misses. The Deadpool movies were just amazing. Like, they were really good. A lot of fan service in them, and you can tell that Ryan Reynolds has a true love for the character, much like Hugh Jackman has a love for Wolverine as well. This movie blew me away, I'll be honest with you. Straight up, it's an amazing piece of fan service. Yeah, and that's the best way to describe it without spoiling it. The movie, I couldn't tell you how long the movie goes for. I didn't look at my watch once. I was glued to the screen. I could not take my eyes off it. I don't think my head moved. I don't think I blinked for the entire runtime of the film. Um, it was just a spectacle. And seeing it all unfold and seeing everything happen was really interesting. Plus, it gave me some ideas of what could possibly happen in the future for these two characters. Um, I love the idea that, you know, Wade Wilson was going through a bit of a crisis at the time, and that's what brought him in to find everything that... I'm trying not to spoil it, okay? Um, so I'll, I'll start off with... I won't even mention the cameos, but there are a ton, and they are great. The special effects in this are just right. It's not over the top. They blend in seamlessly with everything that's going on and they just look good. The costumes look fantastic. The set designs are great. I love the little tidbits in the background of the void. And if you've watched Loki and you know what the void is, that's not a spoiler. Um, you know, just the fun witty references that Deadpool makes, the back and forth between Wolverine and Deadpool, obviously that's going to be a highlight. I think a few things I did take from it that I wasn't a huge fan of. And, I mean, this isn't a bad thing. The violence in it was excessive, but it was good. It wasn't too excessive, though. There was a lot more blood and gore in this one than I was expecting. I was not expecting that much, but it looked good. The There is an excessive amount of swearing in this one, so... You know, take that what you will. You know, Deadpool's always been one of those characters who swears a lot. And, you know, same with Wolverine. If you read the comics, you know, you know they do swear a lot. This did seem a little bit excessive, but it is what it is. I didn't find it too off-putting. Overall, this movie is just a lot of fun. And it is a lot of fan service. And I really, I, I, I want to... There is, I'm biting my tongue so much during this one because there are so many spoilers. Um, and I am, like I said, spoiler free. I don't want to spoil anything because if you want to go see this one, I highly recommend you go see it on the big screen because it is worth it. I don't want to give this a score right now and because there is so much to this one. There is so much in there. There are so many Easter eggs. There are so many things in it. I can't wait to go see this one again. I can't wait to own this on physical media because... This is one where you want to go over with a fine tooth comb and see every little bit that they put in there. And there are tons of Easter eggs in this. Tons. I would love to see what ended up on the cutting, cutting room floor in this one because it's bound to be like hours of it. So anyway, look, I really enjoyed this one. I highly recommend you go see this one where it deserves to be on the big screen. Um, it, it's so damn good. But like I said, Spoiler-free review. It's good. Go see it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.